In this new video lesson, I'm going to show you how to learn phrasal verbs and how to learn the most common phrasal verbs used in English. First of all, students of English often complain about the difficulty of learning phrasal verbs. Simply, a phrasal verb is a combination of a verb, an action word, like look, take, set, and a preposition, which is a short connecting word like up, out, over, in which the preposition gives the verb a new meaning. In this sense, we can say that the meaning is idiomatic. In other words, the phrase cannot be translated word by word but only by looking at the phrase as a whole. Transitive verbs are verbs used with a direct object. In for example she wrote a letter the verb wrote is a transitive verb and the word letter is the direct object. Intransitive verbs are used without a direct object. The verb die, as in he died suddenly, is intransitive. We don't use an object in this or a direct object in this example because the verb die is intransitive. It doesn't take an object. Now, there are three types of phrasal verbs. The first one is separable, separable phrasal verbs. The second one is inseparable phrasal verbs with the use of transitive verbs. And the third type is three-word phrasal verbs with the use of transitive verbs. Now, the first type, separable phrasal verbs, means that the object may come after the following phrasal verbs or it may separate the two parts. For example, you have to do this paint job over, which means you have to do it again. Or we can say you have to do over this job, this paint job. You have to do over this paint job. When the object of the following phrasal verbs is a pronoun, the two parts of the phrasal verb must be separated. You have to do it over. We cannot say you have to do over it. So it sounds odd. So we have to say you have to do it over. Now the second type, inseparable phrasal verbs with the use of transitive verbs, is that with such phrasal verbs, the lexical part of the verb, the part of the phrasal verb that carries the verb meaning, cannot be separated from the prepositions or other parts that accompany it. Who will look after my estate when I'm gone? So we cannot say, who will look my state after when I'm gone. It's, it sounds odd. So we have to say, who will look after my state when I'm gone? Now the third phrasal verb is, the third type of phrasal verbs is three word phrasal verbs. And we use transitive verbs in this third type of phrasal verbs. With the following phrasal verbs, you will find three parts. For example, my brother dropped out of school before he could graduate. Now we have a verb dropped plus out as a preposition plus another preposition which is of. So the whole ver phrasal verb uh, consists of three words and that's why we call them three-word phrasal verbs. Now, what can you do
to learn phrasal verbs faster and remember them when you want to use them. First, read and listen. Two, find out the meaning. Three, practice it in conversation and or writing. Four, study your list of phrasal verbs and keep adding to the list. Why is learning phrasal verbs in context better than learning them from a dictionary or book about phrasal verbs? Now here are four reasons for to answer this question. Number one, you can be sure you are learning the most common uses of the most common phrasal verbs first. You don't want to waste your time learning the more obscure uses, the ones which are not commonly used. Two, they will be easier to remember. Three, when you are learning phrasal verbs in context through reading and listening, you are learning a lot of other things about English as well, including other vocabulary words and grammatical structures. And the last point is it's much more interesting to learn phrasal verbs from stories and conversation rather than from printed lists. And the fact that you are interested in the context will make it easier, will make it much easier for you to remember the phrasal verb later.